So with the new Fortnite season comes new weapons and items to the Fortnite map. You know, some of them are good, but some of them are bad, and some of them are just downright overpowered, and you know, this season is no exception to that rule. Put your crunch on me where you at, your motivation guy. That's why I'm back again. And if you've been wondering, you know, what the best new weapons and items from the brand new season seven update are, then you've definitely come to the right place because today we're gonna be going over the top new added weapons in order from the least to overpowered to the absolute most overpowered guns in the game but hey before we get into any of that if you guys checked out our pro guys discord yet okay so we're currently running a giveaway where you can win a free coaching session with one of our top coaches valued a personal message from me and three vod reviews on pro guys and even a year of our pro guys membership so check the link out in the description with the chance of winning you guys ready to get into this i know i am let's get this going all right guys so at the bottom of our list and number six we've got the newly added chimera ray gun so this weapon is pretty unique in Fortnite since it doesn't shoot bullets, shells, or even rockets. Instead, the Chimera Ray Gun deals a continuous stream of damage and actually has unlimited ammo. This weapon does pretty much no damage at all to builds and structures, but it can deal a respectable amount of damage to enemy players if you have good enough tracking aim. And so while this weapon does have unlimited ammo, there are some mechanics unique to the Ray Gun that forces you to be a little bit smart in how you use it instead of just holding your finger down. The longer you shoot the beam of the ray gun, the more recoil it will start to kick out until eventually even the most experienced of Fortnite players would probably have a lot of trouble in controlling it. Not only that, man, when you stop firing, you then have a slight cooldown to wait through, you know, before you can fire the weapon again to prevent you from just rapid fire clicking with the weapon to avoid the recoil. In other words, okay, honing your aim is going to be pretty important if you want a chance to use this weapon correctly. Okay, so all in all, man, like the ray gun is a pretty fun weapon to use, but a dominant force and competitive is not something that is likely to become. It simply won't do enough damage quick enough when fighting against a good player. And they'll definitely manage to throw up some builds, which the ray gun is really weak to, before you manage to do any meaningful damage to them. Let me ask you this, man. Are you guys using the best new weapons, but you still can't win? Then you have to head on over to ProGuys.com, like right now. We've got master courses from some of the best pros like Mongrel and Clicks, which will take you through everything that you need to do to improve super fast in Fortnite. All right, bunch of course, Tommy, it's time for the question of the day. All right, so today we want to know what's your favorite weapon in Chapter 2, Season 7? Are you guys sick with the classic weapons like the pump, or has one of the new high-tech futuristic weapons took your top spot? Hey, let us know in the comments down below, and we're going to check it out. All right, back to the video. With the release of Season 7, we've seen the return of quite a few notable weapons making a comeback to the game. One of those weapons is the Lever Action Shotgun. Serving as basically a second option from the much-adored Pump Action Shotgun, the lever action can support a much faster W key style of play because of how fast you're able to shoot it. Okay, so this weapon can't be found in floor loot or in any chest on the map. Instead, you're gonna have to side grade your pump or tag to the lever action through the use of nuts and bolts, which are found scattered across the map and floor loot. So with those, I mean, you can craft any pump or tag you already have into a lever action with the same rarity. So while a lot of you guys may be wondering why you would ever use a lever action over the pump or the tack, this weapon honestly serves as a great middle ground between the two. You know, it doesn't quite have the damage of the pump and it doesn't quite have the fire rate of the tag, but if you're able to get pretty good with the weapon, you know, enemies won't be able to easily predict your playstyle since not that many players use the lever action anymore and because of how fast you're able to pull it out and shoot. Of course, the lever action hasn't actually received any buffs with it being re-added to the game, so it'll still act as a less favorable option to the pump for most players, which is why it's still pretty far down this tier list. You know, either way, you know, it's definitely worth the notable mention because you can definitely surprise your enemies by using the lever action. So the Pulse Rifle is a pretty unique weapon, you know, acting similarly to the Stark Rifle back in Chapter 2 Season 4. And so when you're aiming down the sights of the weapon, it acts as a slow firing long range assault rifle with fantastic accuracy. When you're hit firing, the shots come out much faster. This dynamic fire rate means that the weapon can be used in a variety of situations. So if you need something that can take out an enemy from a long distance, you can aim down the sights and take advantage of that heightened accuracy and lower fire rate. If you need to take someone out in close range, you know, you could just shoot from the hip and enjoy a high powered fast fire rate gun. So due to being useful in so many situations, guys, like this weapon has become one of the standouts of the season. And so it's gonna deal 33 to 36 damage to enemies up close, depending on the rarity, and around 25 from far away. This weapon will serve a function similar to the infantry rifle, with the first shot accuracy and low recoil combining to make it an almost perfect pick for collecting storm surge damage early. 
And on top of all of that, guys, found in the hidden bunker below the corny complex area of the map is the Mythic Pulse Rifle, which will be dropped after taking out the new IO character, Dr. Sloan. This variant of the weapon does 38 damage per shot, and as always the case with Mythics, you know, only one person can hold it per game, which feels pretty nice when you have it on you. So we were debating, you know, putting this weapon at number five, but, you know, we feel like the mythic version of this weapon deserves to just, you know, bump it up to number four as it really does elevate the gun to new heights if you manage to get one. You know, in the new season, we finally get to see the return of the infamous, yet still utterly beloved bolt action sniper. You know, we all know how this weapon works, right? Its bullets will travel far across the map, you know, one-shotting people if they get hit in the head no matter what, and will feel amazing if you manage to land a cross-map long shot, man. You know, this weapon uses heavy ammunition, and as long as you can manage to maintain your accuracy, guys, like, you know, the enemy was gonna have to have, like, some insane reactions to actually manage to avoid the shots, which is what makes this weapon so OP. You know, we don't really have much to say about the bolt action sniper. I mean, it's a one-shot weapon that basically is impossible to dodge. What more could you want? You know, the recon scanner is another pretty unique weapon to Chapter 2 Season 7. It doesn't deal, you know, any damage to your enemies, but it can be used strategically in many different ways. But first, before we get into its uses, what does this new weapon actually do if it's not used for damage? Well, the Recon Scanner is a weapon that has unlimited ammo, recharging in a similar way to the Chug Splash, that shoots out a completely harmless projectile. If an enemy is inside the sphere that the projectile produces, it will allow you to see their exact position through any and all cover, which is, well, pretty useful to say the least. You know, you can use this during pretty much any build fight and simply just shoot the projectile straight into the ground so that you can easily predict where your enemies are going to peek, which seriously gives you guys the upper hand. So the Recon Scanner will pretty much guarantee you, like, the win for most of your fights as long as your enemy isn't using the exact same tactic as you. So another way that this weapon can be incredibly useful is by shooting it out ahead of you, you know, when you're going to check if your rotation is heavily contested or not. And so since the projectile has a pretty long travel distance, you can basically see for miles ahead, checking every area for enemy players long before you get there yourself. So at the top of our list today, guys, right up in the number one spot is, of course, the railgun. All right, so the railgun is arguably one of the most problematic and definitely one of the most overpowered weapons to ever be added to Fortnite. Casuals and pro players alike are already mad at this weapon because, you know, it can shoot enemies for insane amounts of damage straight through any types of builds, whether it be wood, brick, or even metal. So the railgun works by charging up a shot that will go directly through any opponent's builds while also breaking them. The weapon is hit scan, which means there's no travel time or bullet drop to the weapon and is 100% accurate. Basically, man, like if you have precise aim, there is literally nothing your enemies can do to escape it. Of course, the same can be said if your enemies have precise aim as well. So you guys better watch out if you see the red tracking laser of the railgun show up. You know, that's basically the main reason the railgun is number one on our list. You know, it's basically the return of the heavy sniper. But in this case, it's even stronger because it doesn't just destroy builds. It, it hurts the people behind them as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if this weapon gets removed before it can destroy competitively or just if Epic will address it in time but your cross army that was our list for the most overpowered weapons in chapter 2 season 7 you know as well as a little bit of information on how you should use them you know it's going to be pretty interesting to see how all of these new weapons are going to be used and abused and cash cups and the fncs this season and you know it's even gonna be more interesting to see what changes epic is going to make right you know with the weapons like the railgun being able to shoot people straight through walls you know a lot of players are already worried about the potential and implications of the meta hey, if you guys like the video make sure you sub to the channel and if you want to connect with me on my Instagram, I'm right here at Your Motivation Guy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.